was the only really amazing thing I could make at that time. But he was sold. He said, you're great. Come on in. I said, great. Here's what I want. I want to come in twice a week. I want to be in your restaurant twice a week. I want to be working two hours, no more. I leave. If I choose to stay afterwards, it's my choice. But you can't pressure me to stay. Even if there's kids here, if i got a family to go home to, I've got a family to go home to. We need to be understanding on that. I also have the right to collect tips. And I want a meal. I want to get fed. Oh, my God. food. <laughs> He said, okay. I said, also, I want to hand out business cards. And if they want to book me for a private event, that's between me and them. You guys have nothing to do with that. He said, sure, come on in. And I did. When you really enjoy something, you can just keep doing it. I've had people tell me, you're good. And because they told me that, evidently, I should have stopped. But I did. See, I love this balloon thing. I kept getting more and more bucks. I thought this was fantastic. And it helped me when I wasn't feeling too good. So I kept getting better and better, and I improved. And I didn't just improve the amount of things I could make. I improved the way I could twist balloons. I wanted to go out and find a workout plan, but there was nothing out there that worked to my benefit. There was nothing I liked. And it's about doing things you enjoy. So I came up with my own. I'm going to show you now. I called the Balloon Man 11-step workout plan. You ready? Ready. All right, here we go, Jason. Watch me. Loosen. <laughs> Should you say that? But here's the thing. Every time I say that, I then go and blow up the balloon, and without fail, before I do anything else, the guy is always going to blow up his balloon now. And I'm not even done yet. I have barely begun. Watch closely. Here we go. 